So the last time I showed you a modification for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5, I wanted to show you how easy it was to install a treble ROM on the device. Now this is good in case you want to just have a 100% plain AOSP version of Android on your device but it is not optimized for the device in any way. For example, on, on this specific device, on the latest version of the treble AOSP version, touching the fingerprint sensor actually acted as if I was touching the front screen. So it's definitely not something you would run and want, want to run on a day-to-day -day process. So today, I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM, specifically Lineage OS 15.1, on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. So once you have downloaded this custom ROM from the Lineage OS website, then you're going to need to download your OpenGApps package. Which again, I will have links to all of this in the full tutorial on my website. And that will be linked in the video description for anybody who is watching this on YouTube. Now, since we already have TWRP installed, we just need to go ahead and boot up into TWRP. So we're just going to reboot. And again, if you don't know how to boot up into recovery mode, this is still linked in my full tutorial on my website. So please reference that if you have any questions. So now we have the TWRP main menu. And first we are going to wipe all the data we had on our device. So we're gonna wipe out that treble ROM. So we're gonna tap on wipe. We're gonna to go to advanced wipe. So this is going to list all of the partitions we have on our device. So we're going to go through and enable the Dalvik Art Cache, the regular cache, the data, the system, and the vendor. Now we want to keep the internal storage unchecked because that is where we have the Lineage OS and the OpenGApps package on our device. We need to keep that unless you want to do an ADB push to the device. And our USB OTG and micro SD card just doesn't matter here. So once we have selected all that, we're going to go ahead and wipe the white arrows to the right. You can see it went very quickly. It formatted the cache, formatted the data, formatted the system, formatted the vendor. Once that's done, we're just going to tap the home button to go back to the home screen because now we need to install these things. So we're gonna tap on the install button at the top right, top left. This is going to give us a list of all of our folders that we have on our device. Personally, I moved the Lineage OS and OpenGApps zip files to the download folder. So I'm going to tap on download. Now, if you moved it to a different folder, Go ahead and find those two zip files there. First here, I'm going to tap on the lineage zip file. And if you want, you can go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right to continue. But I'm just going to add a queue. So I'm going to tap on the add more zips option. And now I'm going to tap on the open G apps. So again, if you wanted to, you could just manually flash the Lineage OS 
just like that and then you could go back from the beginning install find the package then install open g apps or you can do like i did pick the lineage os package tap the add more zips button and then find the open g apps package so that it will first install the lineage os package and then it will install the open g apps package so once we're ready again we're going to swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation this is going to take a little bit more time compared to doing the advanced wipe of the system naturally because we are installing a lot of stuff on this device and it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing as it's doing it so it has detected the EX4 file system it is patching the system image unconditionally it is patching the vendor image unconditionally with that done it has installed lineage OS and now it's going to install open G apps the screen timeout just happened not a big deal just press the power button and unlock it and just like before it's going to tell you what it's going to be installing mounting the system gathering the device and ROM information performing the space the system space calculations to make sure it will install right it's going to remove existing or obsolete applications because you don't need say the lineage OS browser if you are installing Chrome and then it starts to install the core Google applications from face detect to face unlocked to Gmail to Google now the amount of applications installed here will all depend on which variant of open G apps you install for this specific device you want to pick on pick the ARM 64 since this is lineage OS 15.1 you're gonna to need to pick Android 8.1 and I generally go for either a micro or a nano variant but you can go all the way up to stock or super full mini whichever you want now it is all done you can see this unmounted system updating partition de details and it's done with that done we're just going to tap on this reboot system button now and I just want to do this just so I can make sure that lineage OS has been installed properly and that it works properly before I go and create my backup install root with Majisk or you can use the lineage OS version of super SU all up to you I just like to make sure that it is working on its initial install before I go in and add anything else to it and of course you're going to want to be patient during this first boot cycle just like doing a factory reset this first boot cycle is going to take some time all subsequent boot cycles will not take as long because it's not going to need to keep setting up all this information this is lineage OS making a bunch of configurations creating some cache data and then it's going to bring us to the typical lineage OS activation screen
and there we have it. This is the Lineage OS activation screen. We can go ahead and go to start. We're not connected to a mobile network. So we can skip, go through all of that. Now you have installed Lineage OS 15.1 on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Currently I have the Plus version.